I'm gonna make a creepy story about a doll because the hexagon man. I just want to see the video. And I saw a comment saying, do you want to make a story about a doll? <laughs> I'm gonna bring it on. So I'm gonna think about it and then I'm gonna keep on with the video. One time my parents get me buy something on eBay. And I saw something called a haunted doll. And I, in that time I didn't believe in haunted items and stuff like that. That probably was just nonsense. And then I got the doll. You know, the next day, when I wake up with the yikes flickering in my room, I leave the room, look back, the yikes are off, nothing happened. You can I left the door, it's gone. And I look and it's on the sofa, watching TV. And it was watching, um, Annabelle comes home to Ayo. And I thought my parents just did that to scare me. But no, do not wake. You know, you creeped out. But you got a doll. I pick up the doll. I put it back in my room. Two weeks later, um, I go fourth grade. And, um, there's this new student that looks like my doll, but really nice. And I was surprised. I just didn't figure out what to do. was just coincidence. And I wanted to freak my friends out with the haunted doll. So I bought it to school. <laughs> there's cars outside. The parents call and everything. But I came inside the school and no one was out. The gates were all. And well, the same seat that, um, to go, the person that you took my doll was sitting, um, they, it was my real doll seeing me. And I was very creeped out. I have to room, the lights turned on, I, and I saw people just teleport out of nowhere. The principals, the teachers, and I looked back in the room, my classroom, and I was there, my teacher's teaching. But the student's missing. The student that you think my daughter is missing. I'm very shocked. And well, I am about to leave. And the doors are locked. And I see the, the light sunny tone red. So I was very, very, very shocked and um, with the to it and my doll was in there, as I said, and I see my doll walking towards me with a bat. And I was very shocked, I was scared. I tried on knocking doors and the eight sunny from red, they keep flickering, black red, black red. And I was shocked. I kicked the doll and it disappeared. It became smoke. And I feel I'm about to leave when you see the doll, the doll just come out of nowhere sitting on the ground in front of me. I pick it up. I try to pick it up. It disappears. So I'm going to go leave and I see it. Wait, what in front of the door? The door, I mean, like he's saying, door. Um, no, and I was very shocked. So I just went in the hallway. And suddenly, I saw paid out blood in every hallway. And the hallway keeps repeating. I tried running in a different hallway, but it was the same one all over again. And, and the wall said 666. The door said room 666. And I was very shocked. I tried running, I tried running. And suddenly, I hit my head on the wall. And I must have passed out because I, when I woke up, I was at hell. I tried to move, but there's ropes tangled around my body. I had tape on my mouth. And I saw a man in a hat. Calm. 
And this man just was wearing a black mask. And he opened it and he showed me the inside door. There's a camera. He opened the rope. He let me go. That's all I thought. And then he punched me. And I must have passed out again because I woke up. And I saw a doll, a doll on fire, with me just sitting there. And that's what I remember before I was teleported in this room. No doors to escape or anything. And no yarrow to take it out. Pierce there's a roof. And and each wall is paired with 666. And I'm doing this video to contact for help. 